beautiful technique for making very natural looking clouds. Now the masking fluid is dry and we can develop a beautiful summer sky, blue sky with white clouds. I've got a great technique for you. We wet the top with a nice big flat brush, just lightly touching the paper, but making sure it's completely wet, not standing water, just dampened. Okay, now we're gonna take that same brush and a strong mixture of cobalt blue and we're gonna start down the sky Nice, strong color. Maybe even a little darker. Don't be afraid to use the color on this one. All right, now we're taking a facial tissue, nice soft facial tissue, and I'm just clumping it into a, into a wad like, like that, and I'm going to go lightly at first, turning it, always turning it, because I don't want the same. Take it right off the top. Now I'm coming back in a little stronger. Lightly at first, turning it, and then a little stronger, pressing in a little harder at the end. Right now I want to create what I call an action line. An action line around these, uh, for the foliage on top of the trees. So in order to do that I have a great technique and it involves a pump style spray bottle. Now don't try this with a hairspray mister, that won't work. Uh, it puts out too much of a fine mist of a of uh, a pattern. You need a pump style spray bottle. You can use a trigger sprayer if you put it on its widest broadcast. What we want to do is just spray an area over the top edge of the trees and I want to hold my spray, I'm going to hold my hand over the part I don't want to get wet and I'm going to hold the spray bottle up about 10 inches from the paper and give it one, two, three sprays, that's just about right. Now I can see that the water droplets are just starting to mesh together a little bit. So I'll start over here. I have a, I have a number three brush and I'm just going to tap into some of that, uh, that, that water that's sitting on the paper. And go back into cobalt blue just let it run. Don't try and do it yourself. Just put it down there and let it run on its own. And then you can come down and paint over part of it in a solid, more of a solid stroke. But let that action line on the top just be dictated by the spray that you just put it put down.